Hey guys, I'm GSphere, and in this video, we're going to go into how to get videos shown or GIFs shown on your stream using Streamlabs, Chatbot, and the scripts that they have in their Discord. Let's get started. Now, one really cool thing that you can add to your stream is videos and GIFs on your stream. So the way we do that is first off, we have to go over here and join the Streamlabs chatbot discord. So this is the invite link right now. It may change after this video is up, but after you do that, you go into it and you go into the scripts. And right here, of course, this all requires you to have Streamlabs chatbot already installed as well as Python. So this is not for the very, very beginner. This is for somebody that already knows how to install the Python with the Streamlabs chatbot. But anyway, so you go into the scripts here and you look for this slobs remote parameters made by this awesome person, OC Janeer. So what this thing does is it'll basically have a remote control basically. Um, so you'll install, you'll, you'll download this and then um, you go over to your Streamlabs chatbot and go to the scripts and import it. So when you click this import, it should take you to the download folder or wherever you download, whatever you do. And then you will import the zip file of the remote parameters here. So after you do that, we need to go back over to our Streamlabs OBS and add a, what you call it, a, an image or a media source. It depends if it's an image, then you want to add in an image. If it is a video, you want to add in the media source. So I named this one dog. It's easy, easy peasy. You know, it just goes to wherever the GIF is actually located. That is very important. You have to have it where it is located. So after we do that, we hit OK. And then we go over here to the Streamlabs chatbot. And you can do a whole bunch of stuff with these. And I will kind of go a very little bit into it. But we'll type in this right here. Now the uh, money sign slobs source t and then it is the dog which is the source and then you will have this right here and then on off means that it'll come on and then it'll go off again after this right here is the amount of seconds that it'll be up so it, it is up for four seconds and this right here is the scene so it is for youtube right here is my scene so after you have this pretty much right here, you can have it uh, to where it just comes on. You can have it to where it just comes on and off like I have it here. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I'll go very, very slightly into it because this is the biggest thing that I use for this. So I have this to where whenever I type exclamation dog, it will do the dog GIF on the screen for about four seconds and it'll go right back off. Very, very awesome thing. So then we'll just hit submit. We'll go back to our stream. We just type in exclamation dog here and you should see something pop up right here as you see the gif showed up it'll show up for about four seconds and one if, if it's a video you'll have to come over here and it'll show that there's audio in this so you'll just have to go over here and you'll have to put on monitor and output so that you can hear it and your stream can also hear it now chances are after you download it and you have it on your stream it's going to be hella loud so you're going to have to kind of lower the voices or the sound to fit your desktop audio so let's go back over here and when you install this with the scripts it'll let you go to this website right here this is his website so it brings up all these parameters so the, old, the biggest thing that i really use is that one that i showed you but you could set it to where you could set a visibility of a folder. So like if you want, if your, your webcams are all in that, that folder, you could have it up with a command and then go back down. Honestly, anything you could really do. You could start and stop recording, start and stop streaming. But, um, easiest thing is this right here, the slob source T source mode delay and scene. So the mode of course is on and off uh off on off on honestly it's, it's very simple so you just have to get those and if you don't do it right when you type it in here it will show an error sign 
So let's kind of go back over here and mess with it just a little bit so that it messes up. So let's do DO. It's going to mess up and show us a little sign here. We'll do dog. Apparently it doesn't feel like showing. It'll just show this remote source DO not found in scene for YouTube down here. So that tells us that it is messed up and we have to do some stuff about it. So we just go back over here. Put that G back in there. And that's as simple as it can be, honestly. Um, I have a whole bunch of them for my stream. And as long as you have the common knowledge for how to set up your Python for Streamlabs Chatbot, it's very, very simple. Now, there are other ways to do it for the OBS that I, I don't really use OBS, but I could always figure it out if you guys need me to. So I think that's about all we need for this tutorial. Um, make sure that you have to absolutely have this enabled right here. If you do not, it is not going to work. So make sure that is clicked on. It is very important. If it's not on, it will not work. Hey guys, if you found this content and this tutorial helpful, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Also, I do want to remind y'all I do stream on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 8 p.m. EST to 11. Thank y'all so much. I will see y'all next time. Peace.